what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co and in today's video we're going to talk all about waxes this is kind of a sister video to last sunday's video where i discussed um, a lot of different wicks and kind of gave you the benefits and properties of each we're going to do the same thing with waxes You all know the deal. I have my laptop here with my talking points, so let's just get started. Let me first start off by saying that each type of wax has its own properties, which you know makes this wax probably great at holding fragrance, but then you have this wax over here that is long lasting and it has a slow burn. With that being said, it makes new candle makers such as myself i still consider myself fairly new to the industry and the game and even sometimes seasoned candle makers when they maybe want to test out a new wax or offer a new wax in their line it makes it slightly again overwhelming and difficult to kind of narrow down what wax not only represent you and your brand but also what wax um, will be great to to offer in your line so let's just get started so which one is the best wax I don't know there is no concrete best wax you know what I mean there's different waxes out here but it's gonna come down again just like wicks just like fragrance oils just like the whole thing when you're starting your small candle business it's gonna come down to your preference what you want your brand to represent um, what are you strong at you know if you started off as a hobby what what wax did you start it off with if that's your strength area you know um, I'll just start off with what I know and testing obviously you know um, when you want to explore different waxes it's going to kind of come down to testing so to when, when people ask me or you know I've even asked that to uh, um, candle makers before like which one's the best wax girl it's it's whatever you um find that you like you know and it's again it's going to come down to testing that out so which wax burns the longest so for this category soy wax takes the gold for this soy wax is known for having a slower burn and and has more of a long lasting um makes long lasting candles however as i've stated in the previous videos when i talked about my wicks and how to calculate burn time um there's other variables that comes with you know how long your candle burns um the temperature of the room the atmosphere and where you burn your candles the amount of fragrance oil or what type of fragrance oil that you use you know the the percentage load and things like that and also the type of container there's so many different type of container shapes which can, which can also have an impact on how long your candles burn now which wax has the best scent throw Paraffin wax takes the gold for this one. Paraffin wax is known to pack a scent punch. It's known for strong scent throws, um, hot and cold. And so this is why a lot of brands kind of, you know, navigate to the paraffin type wax or paraffin blends because it's known for packing a punch. So if you're more concerned with, you want to have a strong smelling candle and, you know, a long lasting candle is not really um, on your priority list, then paraffin wax or paraffin wax blends are the way to go. I've gotten this question quite a bit, um, are candles toxic? Now, depending on the wax you use, paraffin wax is kind of known for releasing um, volatile, harsh compounds into the air. Paraffin waxes are known to do that. So if you are looking for more of a cleaner burn um, and a wax that doesn't release harsh chemicals and compounds into the air, the natural, more vegetable type waxes are going to be your way to go. So like soy wax, coconut wax, um, and anything in that department, beeswax, um, those are going to kind of be your go-to waxes if you're looking for more of an eco-friendly, environmental, and friendly, and more of a clean burn type wax. Which wax is the best wax to use again? Let's break this down a little bit further and hopefully this will help you narrow down your choices. Let's start with paraffin wax. 
Paraffin wax has no additives in it. It is actually the most common used wax and the least expensive of all the waxes. They're great for container um, candles, pillar candles, votifs, tea lights, and tarts. The main benefit is that it packs a mean scent throw, a mean, um, it releases off a of mean fragrance, I'm telling you. But the con with paraffin wax, like we just discussed, is that it releases harsh chemicals in the air. Um, so it's not um, great in that aspect. Next are soy is soy wax and soy wax flakes. It does come in flake form. It is 100% natural. It is made from the oils of soybeans, so it is completely natural. Um, the main ways you can use soy wax is container, jarred um, type candles, of course, um, tea lights, and things like tarts and tins are kind of the main um, ways you can use soy wax. And then also one of the greatest benefits is that it's eco-friendly. It offers a clean burn, it's less toxic, um, and it's slow burning and it lasts a lot longer. Um, one of the cons with soy wax, um, because I actually use soy wax in my line, it does not offer as much of a scent throw, um, hot throw, I should say, as paraffin wax do. There is a scent. Don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not as strong as paraffin wax. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about using any type of soy or other natural waxes, which we're actually gonna get into now. Next, let's talk about palm wax. Palm wax is another 100% all natural wax made from palm oils. Palm wax is great if you want to achieve different textures, and it's also great for pillars, votifs, and tarts. One of the main benefits of um, using palm wax is that it does pack a little bit more fragrance punch than soy, and it also has a higher melting point than paraffin and soy wax. So one of the biggest cons with palm wax is more from an environmental perspective than so a performance um, perspective. When it comes to palm wax, there has been an increased rate of deforestation in Indonesia and it's one of the largest CO2 emitters. And so when it comes to candle makers who are very big on environmental, environmentally conscious wax producers, this could be a huge problem and um, can kind of taint your brand and what you represent. So in this case, I would suggest doing some research when it comes to using palm wax and just make sure that um, it's representing what you want your candle brand to represent. Next is beeswax, which is another 100% all natural wax. It's one of the best waxes on the market and it can be made to use any type of um, candles like pillars, votifs, container candles. Um, so it's a great wax. It is known um, for great properties such as um, helping to purify the air. It is eco-friendly. However, one of the biggest cons is that it can be a bit pricey, so keep this in mind if you're thinking about going the beeswax route. Next is coconut wax, and it's another popular wax on the market, just like beeswax. Um, one of the greatest benefits of coconut wax is that it's eco-friendly, right? It's a, it's a natural wax. Other benefits include it offers a great scent throw and it also achieves an even burn. It's a very luxurious, um, soft, creamy color and a lot of candle makers love it. However, it can be a bit pricey, but because of all the benefits that it offers, um, a lot of candle makers think it's worth the price. So if that is something that you're um, willing to research and get into, try coconut wax, it's a great, alternative to soy. The next wax is rapeseed wax and this is another great alternative to soy. It has a great scent throw. It is eco-friendly. It's actually a lot more greener than all the other previous natural waxes I've um, just mentioned. There's really no cons to this wax. Um, again, it's going to come down to your research and personal preference. And lastly is gel wax, which is not actually a wax at all. It's more of a fun wax that you can kind of play with and um, create different molds and decorative items. Um, one thing about gel though, if you use gel in like a clear like jar container, candle container, you can actually see right through the candle, um, candle jar, right through the wax. So 
It's actually a pretty fun wax to play around with. A lot of people use gel wax because they can kind of insert non-flammable um, things in the wax and make it like fun, creative type of candles. It's a wax that if you want to have fun and kind of look for ways to be creative and kind of create different textures and molds, this is another great wax to use. And that is it for all the waxes. I hope this um, was helpful. Um, I wanted to provide a, kind of a sister video to my wicks and kind of break down the most common used wax. I know when you're first starting out as a candle maker, it can be quite overwhelming with the different type of um, items you need to create a final candle. So I wanted to create these type of videos to kind of help um, kind of put put out there what's out there in the candle market and the candle industry and kind of help you narrow down your choices with, with giving you some information on the benefits and the disadvantages of things such as wax. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any additional comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Any video ideas, I'll do my best to honor it. And until next time, bye. There is no concrete formula for what's the best wax. It all, sorry, there is something in my eye. Jeez. Okay. I'm on now. Hmm. Sorry. Let me first start off by saying that each type of wax, excuse me. Let's <clears throat> start that over. Alright, let's get started.